time once again, boys and girls, Tuesday night, 10 p.m., the Mystic Hour has finally arrived. Hello out there in radio and internet land. It is I, the Mystic, coming to you live once again from WNJC, 1360 AM, Washington Township, Philadelphia. And, of course, broadcasting to you live through the mysticsrealm.com. And let's see, www.wnjc1360.com. And, uh, gosh, a whole bunch of other places out there. A lot of people are actually uh, broadcasting their stuff live over the net these days. And we have to be one of them. So welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, thanks for tuning me into your homes and businesses. Uh, folks, this is the Mystic Hour Tri-State Area and the world's free call-in live psychic talk show. I, of course, am your host, the Mystic Professional Psychic of 14 years, here to assist you in matters of love, life, health, success, and, of course, destiny. That's right. Okay. Um, got a lot to talk about. Got a lot going on. We do have callers on hold, so we will get these announcements out of the way and go ahead and start taking some of these calls. Now, uh, I do want to remind you all again, this is a free call-in live psychic talk show. Uh, I've been hosting this show for the past seven years, almost seven years now, and uh, it's just been wonderful, and uh, I want to thank all of you again for just making all this great stuff happen every week. Now, um, one of the things that's going on is uh, I will be appearing live this coming Thursday at Dempster's, folks, in Mount Holly, New Jersey. I'll be appearing there from 7 to 10 p.m. where people actually get to come and see me, and uh, you get something off the menu, and you get a free psychic reading with me, folks. That's a pretty good deal. Uh, come on out, grab a bite, sit with me, fill your soul with destiny, and uh, hang out, because they've always got something going on over there. They have a, a martini and massage night over there on Wednesdays. They've got me over there on Thursdays with uh, DJ Paul, who's also awesome. And uh, it's just a great time to have by all. So come on out. they got a lot going on. Uh, last week they actually had a uh, rock, paper, scissors finals, and uh, somebody got to go to Vegas last week, I understand. So that's pretty cool. So, uh, yeah, check them out again. They're Dempster's in Mount Holly, New Jersey. Uh, Dempster's bar, sports bar and restaurant. And I'll be there from 7 to 10. Okay, uh, also, I'm getting a lot of questions about Airsoft Assault. Uh, you guys are welcome to uh, enlist now for uh, what could very well be the world's biggest uh, civilian military campaign. Uh, it's basically going to be a role-playing game with guns, folks. It's a lot of fun. You can come on out. Uh, that's at Skirmish USA. And uh, the number for that is 1-800-SKIRMISH. And that's for Airsoft Assault coming the first second and third of June. Uh, it's going to be a heck of a time. It's $89 per player. Uh, bring camping equipment. Bring your gear. You can also check out uh, all the details at www.skirmish.com. Come on out. It's going to be great. And, uh, okay, so I think that's pretty much it. Also, uh, the last announcement is you guys can give us a call here at the station at uh, 856-232-7077. And, of course, 856 856- Two two seven thirteen sixty. The lovely Karen in the studio who handles all this radio stuff, and she just put somebody on the line. So let's take that caller now. Caller, you are live. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Your name? My name is Kai. Hi, Kai. And where are you calling from? Barrington, New Jersey. Hey, I. Great to hear from you again. So, um, how can I help you this fine evening? Well, let's see. You've done readings for me for all sorts of different things, but you haven't done a reading for me for destiny. Okay. Destiny is... Do I have a destiny? Okay. See, that is a great question. And I'll tell you, without even having to read you in that respect, I can tell you that you do have one. And it's not because of the most obvious reason. Um, Most people seem to think that everybody has destiny out there. And I'm here to tell you, Kai, and as well as the rest of the people on the planet, that it's actually a very small number. Um, You know, a lot of people out there, they go through life, and you've seen the type where they sit on their back porch and they drink their cheap beer and they watch their sun rise and set and never really care what they've done with their life or what they're ever going to do with it. And these are the people without destiny. These are the people that are, you know, for lack of a better term, the the sheep of the planet. Mm -hmm. But then there's people like yourself and myself and others like us who we just can't sit like that. We can't think like that. We can't 
be like that. You know, we're constantly wondering what's going to happen tomorrow, what's going to happen not just for us, but for the people around us that we love, and, you know, some of us even a little more grandiose of, you know, what we can do to change what's going on, what we, what we can do to fix what's going on. And these are the people with destiny. And it doesn't matter what you're doing. I mean, you know, your destiny could be um, an accountant, being the greatest accountant that you can be. But for whatever reason, this is your purpose. Or it could be, uh, you know, like myself, a psychic radio host and whatever else I got going on at the moment. <laughs> I wear many hats, it's hard to say. But, uh, you know, it just depends on basically, you know, the fact that you care. You care about your future. You care what's going on in this world. And that makes all the difference in the world. So that tells you right there that, yeah, you do have a destiny. And a lot of people that tune into this show do. Unfortunately, like I said, you know, when it comes to the big scheme of things, when it comes to the grand population, I mean, not a lot of people realize it, you know, but there, there really isn't a destiny for everyone, you know. And it's kind of a, uh, it sounds like a sad thing, but you have to realize that if it wasn't for the, the sheep, the shepherds wouldn't have jobs. So mm -hmm. <laughs> we need them too, mm -hmm. you understand? And that's really how that whole, you know, destiny thing works. But it doesn't mean, you know, it's neither a good thing or a bad thing that you either do or don't have a destiny. It's just what is. But uh, you are one of those uh, too, I'm afraid. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah. And it's a full-time job. But see, this is the thing that you have to worry about, Ty, is, you know, when you have a destiny, of course, you're going to, you know, put all your effort into making it happen for yourself. And if we're not doing it exactly the way it's supposed to be, we're going to fail. And we're going to keep trying until we get it right. And it took me a long time, personally, to get to that point. I mean, when I moved here to New Jersey, I literally thought that I was escaping my destiny. I literally thought I was putting all the psychic stuff and all the musical stuff and everything behind me. Mm -hmm. I thought I was done with it, you know? And I thought I was going to come up here to, you know, I don't know, be a plumber or something. <laughs> but instead, I mean, the music came right back into my lap and immediately afterwards I was on the air right here in this station at WNJC. And, uh... The interview was about the music, but it ended up, they found out I was a psychic, and the whole interview changed towards that. Hmm. And it wasn't very long after that I got offered the opportunity to host the show there, and I've been doing this for the past seven years since. Hmm. And it's been a wonderful gift, and, it, you know, I, I consider myself very, very blessed to do this. But I literally thought I was running away from it when I moved up here, yeah. <laughs> Little did I, I, I realize I was running right to it. And it's funny because I've always known what my destiny was. I've, I've always known that I was going to be providing free psychic advice somehow and still managed to keep my lights on, which didn't make any sense to me at the time. You know, I'd never expected to go into radio. I've never taken a day of broadcasting school. This is just what I was born to do. Hmm. You know, and that's how we find our destiny, is figure out what we were born to do. And that's the biggest secret of all. And it's a real simple one to figure out. You know, it's, it's what you're best at. You make it sound so simple. It truly is. It truly is. You it know, and if it. you're good at a lot of different things naturally, mm -hmm. well, then roll them all up into one, one person. Do it all. Do everything that God's given you a talent to do. Because that is the... That is your destiny. That's why God gave it to us. You know, that's why we have this. Again, it sounds so simple. Well, it, it truly is, you know, and that is also another big secret of life is, you know, the simpler we keep it, the happier we're going to be. I've simplified my life till there's not much left to simplify. Well, you know, simplifying your life doesn't necessarily mean uh, starting over. That just happens is what I'm sensing with you. Like, um, your hand was a bit forced on a couple issues because you didn't listen to what your instincts were telling you, which is something that those of us with the destiny, we get a lot of that. <laughs> Whether we listen to it or not is up to us. But 
you know, our instincts are a little clearer, they are a little louder, but we still have the opportunity to either listen to them or, like in your case, deny them. And that's what you did. And because you were denying who you were, because you were denying, uh, you know, the life that you should, that you're starting to experience now, I might add, um, I'm sensing that God kind of forced the issue upon you and made it happen anyway, whether you wanted it to or not. Make sense? Maybe. And that's not a bad thing. It really isn't. It's, it's a growing process. And at the same time, it also gives you a really strong clue that you have a destiny because, frankly, if you didn't have a destiny, I don't think God would have stepped in because he usually doesn't. Okay, so tell me about like my that. destiny. You know. Now, one of the things that you have to realize, too, is in order for you to achieve your destiny, as I said, this isn't necessarily something that you want to do. Okay. All right. But it's usually something you're really, really good at and you'll understand later. <laughs> and you have to accept that. And it's not a bad thing. But when it comes to your destiny, your personal destiny, mm -hmm. your whole ability is to provide freedom and independence, whether it be for yourself or to another. Okay? Mm -hmm. And that can be done in a lot of different ways. Um, people in law enforcement have that ability. People in business also have that ability, which is what you're a little more prone to, you know? So that's where, where that whole thing lies. And I think you'd be very, very good as far as that's concerned. But, you know, right now you're working on a transition to where you have to look out for you, 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 you. And that's actually a pretty cool lesson to learn. Don't sweat this. This is good stuff. This isn't bad stuff. This isn't negative stuff. This isn't the world crashing in on you at all. You Not sure? at all. Positive. Okay. It's positive event. Okay. That already happened. That's already behind you. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. It's already behind you now. Then. But it still feels like it's here. So tell me more. Well, that's because you're pushing the emotional aspect and hanging on to that emotional aspect like a, you know, clinging vine. And uh, it doesn't swing that way. It doesn't. You're, you're, you're not accepting again. You're, you're denying again. You're denying not who you are this time. You're accepting that. But now you're, you're denying your situation and you're denying how positive and how strong and how awesome this opportunity is for you. Because this is a clean slate here that you're starting with. And not very many people get that. The only reason why you're getting it, like I said, is because God gives, you know, a hoot. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And that's a beautiful thing to know. And the fact that he's willing to step in and do that tells you, bum, 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 you have a destiny. Or it, he wouldn't make the effort, trust me. You know, people say, oh, why didn't, you know, God step in and help these people out? Well, that's because your destiny is up. <laughs> You're beat. You know, not true with you. You're just getting started here. All right. Now, right now, as I said, you're having to focus on you, you, you. And this, this whole thing, like I said, it's all about independence. It's all about pushing freedom for others. That's what you do best. This is what you do. But nine out of ten times, we have to learn to practice what we're pushing here. Okay. So you're going to have to apply these results to yourself and make it happen for yourself. And then you'll have something to back it up with. You know what I mean? Maybe. For example, um, this radio show, you know, I can only tell people, yes, follow your instincts, you know, because I've done it. It works. It truly, truly works. I wouldn't tell anybody to do anything that I, I wouldn't recommend for myself. Or at least try once. <laughs> Twice if I liked it. So, 
you know, this is what it's all about here is, is working really hard to experience what we're truly supposed to experience, what we're truly about here. You know, it's, it's almost like the great experiment, but not really. <laughs> because okay. God already knows the answer to it. Just wants to see a view now. Hmm. You know? Which is kind of juvenile, but God has a great sense of humor like that. Yeah. It w wouldn't surprise me at all if, if when we finally did have the big rapture and everybody goes up and sees the man upstairs, it's really like some six-year-old kid. <laughs> <laughs> that would not surprise me one little bit. Okay. You know, because it's all about the, the innocence and, and, and the love and the humor. And that's what most kids, you know, that age are all about anyway. So it, it really wouldn't surprise me at all. But, you know, I give a lot of props to the man upstairs, and, and I know you do, too. But you have to give yourself props, too, because you're, you're doing this. You're handling this. It seems a little scary, but that's because you're so used to running on emotion here. Run on instinct. You do that well. Saved you many times. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Didn't save your relationship because you wouldn't allow it to. Hmm. When that whole thing started, your instinct said, Don't do it! <laughs> yeah, no kidding. That's why. But would you listen? No. My instinct said, Don't do it, so I tried to stay away. Now you're strong. Yeah. And that rock. And alone. But see, right now, you have to learn to be. Because, trust me on this, as soon as you truly, truly love yourself, love comes in all directions. Always does, always. I keep thinking I've learned this lesson. I keep learning it over and over again. Mm-hmm. But you have to love you, darling, unconditional. Mm-hmm. You have to, you know, choose happiness every day. It's... They're important issues. They're important. Because otherwise, you're going to bum yourself out, you're going to stress yourself out, and, you know, you're going to be an emotional mess, and nobody wants that. Hmm. <laughs> I don't even want that. No, see? There you go. <laughs> you know, but right now, honestly, you're working on being whole. You're not being torn apart here. Uh -huh. you got to you got to start looking at, at this in a different light. And it's by choice. It has to be by choice. You know? It does. It's not something that we can just, you know, um, wait for the right experience to come or wait for the right, you know, set of opportunities or possibilities or whatever. We have to decide long before any of that comes to be happy. Okay. You do well, I thought I'd done that, and then it all blew up in my face. But see... And where are you now? Um, uh, a lot of things are good, but as far as uh, other things go, I'm alone. See, but you, you're, you're not ex accepting the, the beauty of your situation here. Okay. You're really not, dear. You're really not accepting the beauty of your situation here. Because, again, you are not following your instincts when you're running into these people you're following your emotional side and you think that that's one and the same with love itself and it's not love is not an emotional response love is an instinctive response okay, and this is I why I tell people you know if it's not love at first first sight it, it's just not real okay well I had love at first sight but it seemed to be one sided <laughs> it wouldn't be. It wouldn't be. Well, I was the only one who responded. Mm -hmm. I understand. But it wouldn't be. Trust me on that. All right, so I guess I haven't really known love. Not in that sense. Okay. And again, I think a lot of the reason behind that is you got to learn to love yourself first, dear. I and I think I you're working on that now. I think you're working on that now. Okay. And, again, this is every aspect of your life. 
the, the only true way to love yourself is to set yourself up, hook yourself up, make yourself into a situation where no matter what happens, no matter who is in or out of your life, you're covered. That's how you can truly love yourself. That's the only way. Okay, I've done that a couple times over now. You wouldn't have had to. You should only do it once. You understand? Okay. I think I understand, but I've been it to that place, and I've gotten once. to a place where I feel really good about myself, and then I get involved in a relationship, and then it all goes to hell, and I come back together, and I feel good about myself. But see, and look at the, look at the, and and this is something that maybe you're just not seeing. Um, maybe. Look at the, the, the common denominator here between these people. What do they all have in common? Um, what do they all have in common? What do all those people have in common? Not with you, but with each other. <laughs> My friend in the background is going, they're buttheads. <laughs> That's a pretty good answer. That's a pretty good answer. <laughs> It could have been a lot worse. <laughs> it could have been a lot worse. Um, but there's a little more to it than that, I think. Yeah, what do you think? Uh, well, number one, these people were definitely not business-oriented. They were wannabes, number one. And number two, none of them were sacrificial to a point where they should have been in a relationship. Okay. And you were forced to put in 210% without even being sure what you were going to get back. And that's not right. Yeah, I'll say. So you allowed this to happen by putting in 210%, not looking out for, for yourself the way you properly should have. Okay. This was your gig. No one else's. All right. So now you know the truth. Now you're going to fix it. Okay. Because, uh, honestly, I mean, you don't have any other flaws here. <laughs> Even your name is pretty. Oh, Fabulous. Thanks. Kai is lovely. Thanks. So, you know, this is this is what I'm talking about here. You have to, you know, love you, but you have to look out for you. That's the whole reason to love you. <laughs> is to look out for yourself. You have to do this in life. And, and you know, I know it sounds like a selfish act. It, it really isn't, though. And, you know, the only thing that comes to mind in the Bible about that is the Bible does not say, you know, God will look out for those that look out for everybody else on the planet. It doesn't say that in there. It says God will look out for those that look out for who? Yeah. Themselves. Themselves. So, you know, if you don't look out for you, he's not going to. But if you do look out for you, he's going to give you, you know, bountiful journey. Mm -hmm does it every time and at the same time by listening to your instincts and your intuition you're not going to have all these shabby relationships you're going to be looking out for you there too and so will your instinct and when it tells you don't go near that one listen <laughs> there's a reason why it's telling you this all right. All right. All right. but other than that I think you're doing great but you know you do you need to look into something <laughs> I don't know. Uh, again, the, that whole independence thing, I see that really strong with you. And, you know, you got to learn this for yourself. And I think once you do, I think you'll be able to share it with others really easily. I do. What? Share independence? Yeah. And there's a million and one ways to do that. You can, you know, like I said, work in law enforcement or, or work with people that, you know, are, are working towards getting out of, you know, bad situations or jail or, or, you know, halfway houses or something like that. Or you can even go into business for yourself, you know, which also shows, you know, a really strong woman of independence and that, 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 which can also help a bunch of others in that same aspect. So, I mean, there's a million and one things you can do here, but this is going to be your hook. Trust me. I know what I see. And, but you got to, you know, you got to kind of practice what you preach here. And I, and I think you're just now starting to do that. Which is good. Okay. 
All right. So that's what I see for you, Kai. I think you're doing very well. I know things are rocky, but huh. you got no one to blame but you, my dear. Huh. And that's okay. <laughs> I don't mind taking the credit for what I've done, but my goodness, I've been trying to do my best and it just keeps blowing up in my face and I'm getting because tired of this shit. You think that in around. order for you to be happy, you have to be with someone. That's not true. No, I don't need to be with someone. But you, you know, it gets really dull after a while. Well, I've been alone most of my life. True. It's been 39 years. It's getting tiresome. It is indeed. And, you know, I hear you. And it took me this long for me to you know, settle down myself. So, I hear you. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I'm glad I did, but it took a very, very long time. No question. You know. But only because, again, I had too many other issues that I had to sort out first about me. And I did that. And once I was able to do that, I said, okay, now I know what I want. Now I know what I need. And I went out there and got it right away. It was awesome. Yep, I thought I did Very that about five years ago. Now, and then it's still blew up in my face, and I'm still back here saying, okay, I feel strong, I feel good, but, you know, I mean, all things considered, life is good, but I'd really rather not be alone. But, okay, so what else can I focus on other than relationships? Mm -hmm. Because it's obviously not what, happen not what is happening in my life right now. No matter right. how I've tried, no matter what I've put into it or invested, it's not what's happening in my life right now. So what else do I do? Mm -hmm. Again, this gives you all the opportunity in the world for you to better yourself through business. Tell it, this is your key. Right. This is what is going to make you feel so much better about yourself. And okay. as soon as you do, as soon as you feel proper like that, you'll have plenty of suitors, trust me. <laughs> um, lack of suitors is not really an issue, but... But, uh... Able to share life with another thing altogether. I wasn't really asking about that. I was asking mm -hmm. about destiny and other things to do with my life, other than looking for relationships. Yeah. Yeah. But as far as your destiny is concerned, uh -huh. independence is your key. No question. Mm -hmm. And it's a great lesson for others to learn too. And since you've been going through this mess, you'll be able to, you know, give good advice instead of just guessing. <laughs> you know? Hey. You're awesome. You're hey. awesome. And trust me, you're not going to be alone very long. Hmm. I believe it when I see it. I'm well, not worried about it, though, because life nothing. is good without it. I know you're not, and it is good. Life is good either way. You have to choose happiness every day. That is, you know, uh, the way to go, no question. But, you know, you have to give yourself... You have to give yourself good quality reasons to do so, and I don't think I don't think you take advantage of that enough. I don't think you give yourself not enough credit, but I don't think you give yourself enough opportunity to be happy. I don't think you take enough opportunity to be happy for yourself, by yourself, to yourself. You know, enjoy yourself, enjoy the you life that you have. What do you mean? I, I don't think you enjoy yourself enough. Yourself. I think I enjoy myself. You know, I, I don't. So tell me what you mean. Well, I, I just think that in order for you to truly be happy, in order for you to truly grasp destiny, in order for you to truly grasp who you are, how you are, why you are, I think that you should um, pamper yourself more. I think you should take better care of yourself. You know, just... I, I know you take care of yourself health-wise, blah, 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 but yeah. I, I'm talking about, you know, like pampering yourself, babying yourself a little bit. I think you should do that a little more often. Okay. I do. Because it's fun. It is. It is. It's fun. Just go out there and have some fun, right? Okay. You're awesome. Ty, thank you so much for calling the show, and of course, God bless you and your entire family all the way out there in Barrington. Love my Barrington peeps. Hey, but again, thank you so much for calling the show, and God bless you and your entire family. All right, thanks. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.
Okay, folks. Wow, that was kind of Harrington, New Jersey. Boy, we took all the time in the world with that call. Uh, why don't we just go ahead and go to commercials now, and when we come back, we'll have uh, more free psychic readings with Mystic. That sounds like a good time. What do you think? Rock on. We last left our hero high in the Himalayas, seeking truth from the wise wizard who lives there. God, I hope this guy's home. Hello, anyone there? I am the wizard who holds the answer to which you seek. Behold, I give you the sword of destiny. Yes, it's very nice, but that's not why I'm here. Ah, you seek the Holy Grail, of course. Now, where did I put that book? Um, no, that's not why I'm here either. I'm just looking to find a deal on computers. Well, that's easy. Quartz Computers at 856-656-0443 are here for all your PC needs. Upgrades, repairs, all done on site. Even most warranties are honored. Check out their website at www.quartzcomputers.com or call them at 856-656-0443. Quartz Computers, thanks a lot. Now, how do I get out of here? I wish I knew. That's quartzcomputers.com at 856-656-0443. Just look for the wizard in the ad. Does your spirit need a vacation as bad as you do? Look no further. Coming December of 2007, the Mystic Psychic Cruise Spectacular. Seven days and nights on one of the world's largest cruise ships. As we travel the Caribbean and check out the islands of the Bahamas, you'll join us for three exclusive seminars by the Mystic as you enjoy everything the ship has to offer. Dinners, parties, even an exclusive cocktail party for the Mystic's special guests. If you snorkel, you can be the Mystic's guest as he performs a never-attempted underwater psychic reading on stones said to be built by Atlantis, a not-to-miss event. Meet fellow spiritualists from all over the world, perfect for singles or couples. Check the website for details or call Cruise Events at 1-800-695-5253. Book now. Cabins are going very fast. That number again is 1-800-695-5253. Ask for Susan, and we'll see you in the Bahamas. Hey, boy. Hi, Grandpa. What's the matter? My girl's such a pain. She's got all this stuff to do before the wedding, and she's put me in charge of getting the wedding invitations printed. I don't know about any of this stuff. You need copies of more. Tell me about it. I'll also have to get all the flyers for the softball game this Saturday done. Yep, you need copies and more. Yes, I heard you. And what's more, I have to get print-ups of this year's quarterly at my firm. There's no way I'm going to have it already. What am I going to do? You need copies and more. I know I need copies and more. I'm not an idiot. Sure you are. Copies and more is the one-stop shop for all your printing needs. Flyers, invitations, presentations, even posters and magnets. Everything can be done at Copies and More. Good prices, too. Give them a call at 856-845-6770. They'll take good care of you over there. Thanks, I will. And don't forget that the copies and more at 240 South Broadway in Woodbury, New Jersey at 856-845-6770. Thanks, copies and more. And here I thought you were repeating yourself because you were losing it. No, I ain't the one who got stuck doing wedding invitations. <laughs> Grandpa. That's copies and more at 856-845-6770. Greetings, Greetings to you. I am the Mystic. Thanks for tuning into my show each week, but it's only an hour show, and I know many of you miss out on the chance for your reading with me. So, I am available for private sessions, as well as parties, seminars, and benefits, of course. Give me a call at 856-803-4463, and I will assist you in all matters of love, life, health, success, and destiny. As an ordained minister of nine years, I can also perform blessings and house clearings for the most memorable custom wedding created especially for you. Call 856-803-4463, and you can also reach me through my website at www.themysticsrealm.com. Feel the awesome power of a true psychic reading. To be knowledgeable about what is to come in your life is to be better prepared for it, and I will show you how to achieve better living through the Spirit. That number again is 856-803-4463, and I look forward to reading you. And we're back here on the Mystic Hour, Tri-State Area, and the world's free call-in live psychic talk show. 
folks. Uh, I do believe we have callers on the line. We are here at WNJC, the fastest growing station in the Delaware Valley. This is it, folks. WNJC. So uh, let's go ahead and take one of those lucky callers now. Caller, you are. Good evening. Hi there. Hi. Your name? Amanda. Amanda. And how can I help you? Oh, where are you calling from, Amanda? Well, I am online, and I am calling from Rochester, Minnesota. Ah, lovely. And uh, how can I help you this fine evening? Um, I'm not contemplating starting, you know, in a business from my home advising people, and I was wondering if, if that is the right thing I should be focusing on right now, or if there's something else I should be focusing on right now as far as career and work goes. Okay, stand by, and we shall see exactly what we shall see for you, my dear. Stand by. Okay, thank you. Okay, see, one of the first things that I'm seeing here is as far as the finances with this business, that's really the only non-comforting aspect you have right now. <laughs> right. Every other aspect of this, you know, just feels really, really good to you. And that's a wonderful thing. And, you know, volunteers at the hospital get the same, you know, feeling of, of satisfaction and, and the whole bit. But, oh, right. you know, it, you know what I mean? Yeah. But it, it, it doesn't pay the bills, does it? <laughs> well, I mean, I'm not so sure about that because I, I kind of do this online, but I'm just thinking about extending it from home. I guess it's not so much. I mean, I definitely can make money at it, but... Well, no, I'm saying, you know, by volunteering... knowing and... Yeah, yeah. It, it's the, the feeling that you're volunteering, you know, uh... Their services, like I said, you know, those volunteers at the hospital, it's a wonderful right. thing and it's very fulfilling, but it's not paying the bill. You know what I mean? So this is something that, you know, you have to, you know, as much as you want to uh, donate time, effort, services, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, you have to treat this like a business. And that's a really hard aspect for you because you're working, you know, more karmically than you are you know, any other aspect, including yeah. finances. Yeah. And it's it's a tough act to follow. It really, really, really is. I got very, very lucky with, yeah. as far as, you know, what I had going on. And I was just very, very blessed with a lot of really great resources. Um, definitely. You know. And that's, you know, definitely. And that's why, you know, I called today to see if it is what I should be focusing on right now. Because... I mean, you know, if it takes off great and I can, you know, make that little extra month that we need. Sure. But if I can't, there's always, you know, something else I can do, um, you know, and then this can, and then I can still do this, but it's just going to be more on a way, way part-time scale. So um, what do you feel? Do you feel this is something I should pursue or do you I don't, I, I, I don't have any problem. I don't sense any negative aspect with that but you know i gotta also tell you too that wow you have a real knack for um researching for you know finding answers anyhow um, yes, whether it's psychic or 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 not you know you you're capable of finding answers in any library or online or whatever you have to do you've always been one to do that and I mean, my God, the fields are in research are, are booming right now, all because, you know, there's so much out there to know, and there's so many different fields and, and you know, departments of research, types of research, it's just phenomenal, but I must tell you, you have a real strong knack for that, and that's, you know, that's part of your deal, that's, that's part of your destiny. So, you know, make time for that. And when this opportunity comes for you, which I know it, it's going to, um, you need to look into that, too. Okay, great. And so is this something that you would advise me to start right away? Um, because, see, I had lost my job in the end of January, and this is kind of what got yeah, me that's about different. doing this. Yeah. Um, you know, but... It's so it's like if I'm not, you know, it's like I kind of either focus all my energies or none of my energies on something. Right. Is usually the way that it's going, which is fine. But, right. you know, that's why it's like, is it something realistically that I could start right now? Well, I definitely think so. Um, marketing is always a really strong aspect. Right. 
Right. And, I mean, that's something I'm good at, but, you know, like I said, when I want to do something, I either do it, you know, 2,000% or otherwise right. I use... 3%, you know. No, I think this will be fine for you. Now, I, I must tell you a couple different things that, you know, <laughs> yes, as far as that was concerned, um, you know, that job ending and, and the whole bit, that's not exactly what you desired there, but you are looking, um, I, I, I sense a bit of a desperation coming up here with you. So, you know, think this through clearly. What do you yourself. mean by that, the desperation? Um, uh, well, I, I'm seeing a vulnerability coming up with you real soon. And I don't even think it has to do with you. I think it has somebody else. It has to do with somebody else close to you. And uh, this vulnerability is coming pretty quick. Is it some, I mean, is it my husband or somebody I live with or in what way? I mean... Stand by. Okay. See, I, I think it's actually going to be um, an opportunity that you are going to feel you're going to have to pass on for whatever reason. And honestly, I don't sense that's going to be the case with you. So, you know, don't disappoint yourself by by saying no too quickly over the next oh, couple of months. Okay, I, okay, I understand what you mean now. It, mm. I guess you kind of just, you know, as soon as I thought that, I thought of a crisis or something. But no, I know what you... You know, I know what you're saying, and I do that, too. It's like, you know, if, you know, I'll think and I'll kind of hesitate, and I'll be like, no, forget it, you know, right. before I even really sit down and think about it. And that's, you know, why I called tonight and why I, you know, was kind of searching, you know, the limits, because if it's something that I'm going to, you know, do, I need to start doing it right now. And sure, absolutely. And just, but, you know, take the abilities that you have and, and really boil them down, and even if if... It comes out, you know, to be 20 different things. Do them all. Right. Do them all, you know. <laughs> that's um, all. To see, that's, that's what I've done is because it's like there are so many things I can do. I could do this. I could do this. I could sure. do this. And then, sure. you know, and then it's like I get so confused about which one to do, and that makes perfect sense. Well, why not do them all? Do them all. Do them all. I mean, I, I, I wear so many hats I can't even think straight, you know, if <laughs> I wasn't. You know, if, if, I'll put it this way: If I didn't give my problems to God, I'd be I'd be a wreck. <laughs> oh, I really would, because you know, there's so many different things that He has for me going on uh, with this, you know, TV pilot and this radio show that's been going on and for seven years now. Uh, now we're actually filming each episode and putting it up on on YouTube for all to see and. You know, kind of keep a record of everything that I've said and did and, and predicted and the whole bit. It's just wonderful. But, you know, uh, wow, it, there's a lot of really great stuff going on. And just take a look at my website. It's at www.themysticsrealm.com. And uh, you'll see I just, you know, wear a lot of really crazy hats. I, I'm even uh, planning a military campaign here in the very near future just for the kick of role playing. I, I don't know, it's just something that I'm yeah. doing. <laughs> but it's turning out also to be, you know, very interesting, a lot of fun and, you know, it's right. gonna be a blast out there. It really is. It's gonna be right. an absolute hoot. Is this something that you think I could be long term? That's kind of my big thing is me thinking it's a short term solution. I don't think that's what you're destined to do. You don't I don't. think that what I'm, you know, to, you know, starting... I don't think to... you're going to want to do this long term. Okay. Because, you know, your spiritual journey is your own. Right. And you have a uh, relatively personal relationship with the man upstairs. A little right. different than a lot of people. And I... I Again, I, I sense something else for you. I, I sense this whole, the whole reason why you have this capability to research and find out stuff. There's a reason for this. I'm right. telling you. And it's strong with you. And you've always been like this. Oh, yeah. Uh, you've always, always been gifted in that way. And I just sense that that's your answer right there. And it's the answer to your finances, it's the answer so, to your destiny, I mean, so, it's the answer to the So this is okay for, you know, the short-term solution, you know, the next few years, maybe, whatever, but then maybe look for something more in the research field, or? I, I would I would start now with that, 
I would look now into your answer. You know, what you really, really are meant to do here. And start with yourself. Take all the talents that you have. Write them down. Write them all down. Even the little stuff. Even, you know, you have a pleasant speaking voice. Make sure you write that one down. Okay. You know, everything. Everything so, you've got okay, that you so can do this, a little better, write okay, them so down. This, um, you know, me starting my own business from home, you don't think that's something that you do want to come back? I do. Oh, I do. do. But okay. I don't think the advisory stuff is entirely your cup of tea. Because no, you've got a lot of other abilities, too, that God has given you that okay, I, I so think... maybe stay on this practice to sure. know, organize something. That makes sense. And I've heard that before, that if I'm going to do this, it's going to be a stepping stone for something else related. Better believe it. Okay. All right. Well, thank you so much. Oh, it's my most humble pleasure to serve you. I'll tell you, I think you're going to have a, a great year this year. And I think you're going to have a really happy year once you, you know, truly sink your teeth into this. I think you're going to have a really good time with it, but, you know, your research ability, take advantage of it. Use that same ability to find out who you really are. You do this, and I'm telling you, three months' time, you're going to give me a call back and say I'm doing something completely different. <laughs> okay, thank you. Remember I told you this. Thank you so much for calling the show. All the way from Minnesota. God bless. Bye-bye. Okay, folks. Wow, that was a call all the way from Minnesota. How cool is that? I want to remind all of you out there in Internet and Radio Land, you guys can give us a call at 856-227-1360 and 856-232-7077. Now, um, how are we doing, Karen? I believe we have another call on line, yeah? I think that's correct. Caller, you are live. Good evening. Are you there, caller? Oh, we lost our caller. Well, caller, call back. That's why you're called a caller. <laughs> Folks, we have about uh, 10 minutes left in the show. Um, I do want to remind you guys, while I have a couple minutes, that uh, we got a lot of really great events coming up. Uh, you know, I have set up some cool things. But, uh, sure, Karen. <laughs> But uh, I, I want to remind all of you that, uh, you know, we've got a lot of really great events coming up, including a, a cruise coming up in December. I've got uh, a probably one of the world's largest role-playing games ever invented uh, coming up in June. Uh, and all kinds of great stuff. And, of course, you guys can give us a call for uh, parties and whatnot. You can check out my website at themysticsrealm.com. And you can also uh, just give us a call at 856-803-4463 for any type of booking. We'll take care of you. Okay, so that's that. Now, we do have another caller, so we're going to go ahead and take that caller now. Caller, you are live. Good evening. Hello? Hello. Hi, Mystic. Hey, it's John from Barrington. Yes, thank you. Hey, how are you, my great friend? Great to hear from you. I am very, very well. Thank you so much. Awesome, awesome. Great to hear from you. So, um, how can I help you? Spoke to you, I guess, a week or two. Yeah. Uh, and said something about changes, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Uh, can you give me a general on that? Certainly. Stand thank by. You. Wow, you sound scared. Uh, a little. <laughs> <laughs> Need the chicken suit, I'll pluck another feather out, thank you. <laughs> Indeed. Well, stand by. We will see what we shall see for you, Don. I said changes, blah, blah, blah. I don't blah, blah very often. I don't either, but <laughs> tonight it seemed appropriate. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Um, yeah, Don, uh, as far as this is concerned, this is a this is a section of you that, that's going away. Okay. That's what this is all about. Okay. All right. Um, nothing to be afraid of, though. Thank you. It's all good. <laughs> that's all that comes out. <laughs> yep. Real strong. No, this is good. Um, but this, is, this seems like a judgment call that you made. Yeah, not somebody else. No, I had to make a I had to make a call. What's up with that? Uh, job situation, uh, hourly where I was, you'd get two three days and then off for two weeks, another day <laughs> off for a week. So God. something came along and I'm like, okay. You're not a brain surgeon, are you? I, uh, I wish I was. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, then I could see it. 
Because, <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's not like you're doing brain surgery all day long. You, no. you know, you do one, you get paid a couple hundred grand, and you walk away for a week and go play golf with your buddy. <laughs> you know? You brain surgeon, you got it going on. I know, I love this. <laughs> but, yeah, unfortunately, it's not that. It's not that. You so, so thing. wow. You know, yeah, I think this is a judgment call you made, my brother, and... You know, I, and I know you said it, 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 uh, but there were some mysterious circumstances going on there, wasn't there? Yeah. Yeah, it, it's very kind of strange. And it does. The whole thing was kind of strange. For yeah, that is what I'm saying. Brian, but it's just like, eesh. Mysterious. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of have a good feeling where I'm heading. You know, that's why I'm asking, you know, do you see any problems? Do you see... You know, it's a good move. Should I well, I actually, I actually see you hooking up with somebody that you know here with that. No, that's um, I don't know anyone there, but... You know, I, I don't think it's in that... I, I think you're going to be uh, meeting... Let me try this again. Somebody that you work with from your past okay, is, is who you're going to be running into here real shortly. Okay. In a good way. Seems like a very good way, very social, very cool. Okay. Uh, but there may be a job offer there, though. Okay. So, you know, just kind of keep an ear for that. Okay. Because the person that I'm I, I'm working in Center City, and they said, you know, something may happen, and I like what you said, and I may want to use you later. Well, there you go. Okay. Okay, so that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is this is good stuff, man. And there's um there's a happiness here that I, I think is going to come of this. That okay, it, it's just there's something something else is going to go on there that's just really going to make your day. I, I really Very sense cool. that, Don, which Very is a cool thing. Yeah, yeah it could that. be a lot worse. Yeah, yeah, good stuff. <laughs> because it seems like a very cool place to work, and everybody's it? real happy, and I, I you know, I. I I, I go in there all the time and I ask people and they say you should you should apply here. Just, just well, you're kind of a happy guy, so you know you'll fit the motif. Awesome, yeah, I, I hope so. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know you've always been you know very cool, very courteous, very upbeat. You know on the show every time you've ever called, um, despite some of the more disastrous things that have been going on in your life. Exactly. You know when you first started calling, <laughs> you <won't> mention them. <laughs> <laughs> Not again. Thank but, you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Good radio, though, I'll tell you that. But um, <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Somebody just dig this up in two years ago. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, this is this is the beauty of this show, you know, is it does give me the opportunity to, you know, remind you that, you know, of just who you are. And, you know, you are. You're a good guy, man. And awesome. I think it's going to work out really well there for you. Um, now, happiness has been elusive to you as of late. Yes, it has. And this is all your own doing, too. Yeah. You know, again, this is these are judgment calls that you're making. And, you know, I think the judgment calls that you made are good ones. Okay. Um, socially as well as work-wise. I think you should be happier about this than you are, bro. Cool. I do. Cool. I'm a I'm I, I have to say it. <laughs> yeah, that's very true. But, you know, a lot of us are, really. Yeah, and you've you told know. me that before. It's like, yeah. you, know, yeah. you know, you shoot yourself in your own foot. Yeah. <laughs> Indeed. Yeah, you know, in fact, I actually uh, wrote a song about that called The Gatekeeper uh, a long time ago. And uh, the whole song was about when you pass, and you're standing in front of the gates and, and, you know, you got the book of life and the pedestal there and this hooded figure. And at the end of the video, you find out that the judge wasn't really St. Peter, but it was you. I love that, you know. And, you know, like, not only, you know, are you your own judge as to whether you, you get through the gates, but who better? Because you know not just your actions, but your intentions but behind your intentions. I love that. Yeah. So it was kind Beautiful of a neat song. Time. But uh, maybe on a future album, who knows? <laughs> yeah, it's a neat, neat. Where can neat. I get your CDs? Do you have things out? 
No, we're uh, piddling around. We actually just moved here very recently. Uh, in the Belmar whole studios, now. and we just moved into Belmar, and okay. it's absolutely wonderful here. Awesome. We've got some great, great people that are helping us out, including a lot of my band members. They're actually in and out a lot. They're uh, great. You know, helping us rebuild the studio down here. Once that's set up, then yeah, we'll be back on track. Now you can actually go to um, the MySpace at okay. uh, MySpace.com, and I think it's just the Mystics Realm. Yeah, the Mystics Realm. And uh, there's a link there where you can actually check out some of the songs oh, awesome. that we have. There's like four demos on there, but yeah, oh, you can check great. that out. Yeah. So uh, you gotta love that. Um, also, in fact, if you go to my website, themysticsrealm.com, and just click on the uh, little music link there, uh, okay. it should give you a direct link to that. Great. You'll be straight. Awesome. But, yeah, check it out. Good stuff. But uh, coming back to you, you know, you, brother, this, this whole happiness thing, it, it's meant for you. You okay. know, it's good for you. It's healthy for you. So, you know, just accept the happiness. Dude. I mean, cool. some of these people were slags in your life. Yeah. Be glad they're gone. Yeah. Don't be bummed. No. They're good people, but, mm, you know, not up for your well They're slags, bro. Yeah, they're slags. Okay. They're slags. Yeah. Slags. Yeah. Don't be sad about this. This cool. is the right thing to do. You need to clear this heart. stuff out. I've met a lot of fun people, but I know they're, you know, they're going to... You know, they're not there for you. <laughs> they're not <laughs> progressing. Help. Exactly. They're not pushing you or, no. or helping you progress at all. No, no, you got to remember. And whatever. Right on. Right awesome. on. But, yeah, final outcome here, brother. A lot more security for you this year. Cool. And I think that's going to be on a social level, but I, I think finances are going to be really good for you this year. I really do, Don. I good. think they're going to be excellent for you this year. Awesome. But, you know, be secure with cool. yourself and who you are and that whole bit. And I know you don't have too much problem with that, but I yeah. mean, always work on that. That's always something you should work on, no matter how good you are at it. Awesome, <laughs> awesome my friend. Okay. okay. John, it's always a pleasure to hear from you. Pleasure, and my brother. Brother. Bennington peeps, you know this. I want to thank you so much for calling the show, and of course, God bless you and your entire family. And we love you. Thank you, my friend. Thank you, my brother. Good Take evening. Care. And my brother up once again so i want to thank all of you for tuning me into your homes and businesses this evening i would like to of course thank wnjc 1360 a.m for making all this radio stuff going on and the lovely karen making all my radio sound engineering stuff possible and uh oh of course i also want to thank the good lord above for making everything possible and uh you know i want to thank all of you out there for tuning me into your homes and businesses each week so check me out on the web at www.themysticsrealm.com. And uh, you guys, those of you that are listening now, you guys can actually watch this broadcast in its entirety a couple days from now at youtube.com slash themysticsrealm. Pretty cool. Hey, I love you all like family. You know this. We'll catch you guys next week. Take care.